Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem and lift every voice. Greetings, everyone. Class of 2019, you may be seated. Okay, before I get started, can I respectfully ask of all of you to make a promise to our graduating seniors that you will bring your conversations to a close at this time. For these last few moments of your graduating senior's career. Also, we understand your excitement for your graduate, but we please ask that you refrain from coming to the main floor to get pictures as they receive their diploma due to safety and security measures. We all understand that you are proud of your students, and so are we. However, we have over 460 students graduating today. And we will be here until after dark if everyone comes down to take a photo. So thank you for understanding. Thank you for your cooperation and for keeping the promise to our seniors. And those of you who crossed your fingers, that doesn't count. I need you to be a part of this as well. So I'd like to say greetings to our board members, our cabinet, 
Superintendent Dr. G Jennifer Green, my fellow colleagues, parents, families, and of course, the class of 2019. My name is Dwayne Eason, and I am the principal of South Hill Regional Academic Campus. This year, 67% of our students have been accepted to college, the military, or a trade school. Our students will be matriculating to various institutions of higher learning, from local colleges and universities such as Oakland Community College, Lansing Community College, Wayne Community College, Henry Ford Community College, Jackson College, Central State, Wayne State, the University of Michigan Flint, to colleges and universities as far away as the University of Arkansas, Northwestern Technical Institute, Fashion Institute of Technology in New York, and all the branches of the military. We wish you all much success. One of my favorite quotes is, your attitude is either the lock on your, the lock on or key to your doors of success. But wait a minute, I, I have to pause for a second. I do have to pause because with this being our class of 2019 graduating seniors, we would like for everyone to be able to hear everything that has to be said from those that are here on the stage. And it's difficult to hear if we hear you in the back. So I ask that you please refrain and stop your conversations. We do appreciate you. Thank you. So again, one of my favorite quotes is your attitude is either the lock on or the key to your door of success. The aforementioned quote by Dennis Whaley emphasizes how our attitude can make all the difference in our lives. And today, I wish to expand upon the meaning of these time-tested words of wisdom. So tell me, what is attitude? As the Webster Dictionary defines it, attitude is a boldly state of readiness to respond in a characteristic way to stimulus, such as an object, concept, or a situation. In other words, attitude is a way of taking or talking and behaving in, a, in reaction to various things you face in life. Therefore, your attitude and how you go about handling various situations that you face can impact the trajectory of your future going forward. It is because of this, graduates, that I want you to try to always look about the impact that the things you say and do can have, especially during times where you may face difficulties or find yourself not agreeing with decisions that are made on your behalf, whether it is by parents, an authority figure, or others that you may come in contact with as you continue to mature as an adult. Attitude is a way of life. We have a choice every day regarding the attitude we embrace for that day. As the old adage goes, the only difference between a good day and a bad day is your choice of attitude. We cannot change our past, nor can we change the way certain people think. However, we can change what's inevitable. The only thing we can and possibly change is how to deal with the situation better. And that is directly related to our attitude in any given situation. Attitudes determine outcome. This truth is accepted by most of the successful people of the world, whether it is a student graduating from high school or a businessman launching a new venture. It is attitude that provides the winning edge. Thus, a correct and willful attitude is the key to your successful life. We are the masters of our own destiny, and we can very, very well manipulate our grief or happiness by choosing the correct attitude. With a positive outlook, we can overcome our grief with ease and follow the pursuit of happiness. This can be justified with one famous quote by Samuel Johnson. He who has so little knowledge of human nature as to seek happiness by changing 
anything but his own disposition will waste his life in fruitless efforts and multiply the grief he proposes to remove. Hence, in a nutshell, attitude to me is more important than facts. It is more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than successes or reality. And I am strongly convinced that Charles Swindle states that life is only 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. So in conclusion, as you walk into the beginning of your new life as a high school graduate, remember, if you keep a positive attitude, doors will open for you. Let's make it a great life. The choice is yours. Again, congratulations, class of 2019. Now I'd like to introduce our salutatorian, Ms. Jayla Harris. My name is Jayla Harris, your class of 2019 salutatorian. <laughs> um, I would like to ask, you know, how are you guys doing today? Y'all doing good? <laughs> All right. Today is the big day. Today is the day the families here get to watch as their daughter, son, brother, cousin, sister, grandbaby, etc., walk across this stage and receive their high school diploma. As graduates, we have waited patiently for this day. I have heard many pleas for freedom in the halls throughout the year all the time. Are you graduates satisfied now? <laughs> if satisfied, I would like the graduates and everyone else here to take a moment to think about their entire high school career. When you think back on it, was it as bad as it seemed? <laughs> for some, it could have been. But for me, high school was everything I thought it wasn't going to be. I was told that high school would be hard, overbearing, and overall serious. At times, that was true. But more times than not, I enjoyed myself throughout my high school career. How many, times can say their, how many people can say their overall high school career was actually enjoyable? <laughs> if high school is not a fun place for you, why was it not? Did you let yourself get in the way? <laughs> I had fun in high school because I allowed myself to. I knew that if I wanted fun and new experiences, I had to break out of my shell. I made plenty of new friends and gained a lot of new knowledge about myself. It was because I allowed myself to be shrouded in positive energy and love from the positive people I put in my life, like my friends and my family. We all know that being around positives don't make negatives. I'm reminding you of this for the graduates that are going off into a college, trade a vocational school, the military, or are just working. Don't let the outside hate dim your shine. Be there for you and do what needs to be done. Find others that will uplift you. Not everyone in this world is hateful. You just have to have the right mindset to find the ones that are on your level of positive vibes. Thank you.
Dawson Borum and I am the Sergeant at Arms for the class of 2019. I would like to introduce our 2019 class board officers. When I call your name, please stand. Quentin Bell, class president. <laughs> Kalea Theus, vice president. Jaquin Ammons, secretary. And last but not least, Gabrielle Jones, treasurer. Now, I would like to introduce our 2019 senior class sponsors. Timothy Conley. Kimberly Wardell Stone. And Tierra Baldwin. Thank you for all your hard work and support that you have provided for our class. You may be seated. Welcome to the third annual commencement ceremony at the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater. My name is Quentin Bell and I am the acting class president for the class of 2019 at Southfield High School for the Arts and Technology. Before I begin, I have a few shout outs that need to be addressed. Thank you to all my friends, Dawson, Gabby, Will, Gerald, Ailey, India, Miles, Jared, and many, many more who pushed me to become the young man I am today. Thank you, Ms. Campbell, Mr. Martin, Ms. Gibson, DK, and all the teachers I've had the pleasure to meet and be mentored by. My family, <laughs> who's always been in my corner and believed in me through thick and thin. And last but not least, my parents, Tajman Raphael Bell. You both deserve the utmost praise and worship. You have dealt with me and my craziness, given me endless advice and support, and always treated me with unconditional love, friendship, and laughter. So thank you. Thank you all. I wouldn't have the opportunity to express myself on behalf of Christ in 19 without each and every one of you, which I'll now take full advantage of. <laughs> 2019! Yeah! Man, graduation. We started from the bottom, but now it looks like the whole team's here. <laughs> now I don't know about you, but I've been talking about this day since September 4th, 2015, since our first day of high school. It's funny because if we're being completely honest, we've all had a touch of senioritis in sophomore year. But now the day has come after all the trials and tribulations that has finally arrived. The day where we cherish these past four years and look towards the future and all it holds for us. And honestly, it's bittersweet. While we can finally celebrate the end of our rigorous four years at Southfield a and we're also saying goodbye to our friends, our clubs, our teams, our organizations, the relationships we formed with our teachers, staff, and administration, and in just a few short months, our families, 
as we go into our next chapter in our lives. Whether you wanted to admit it or not, it's difficult leaving the security of the familiar. You never know what the world may offer, but they shouldn't be taken as a negative. It should be taken as a positive. Everything happens for a reason. Sometimes the good things in our lives have to fall apart so bigger things can come together. As we move forward into this next chapter, I want you to remember one thing. It's okay. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to not have all the answers. It's okay to change your mind again and again because nothing's permanent and to fail hard. This is not the time to be perfect. This is the perfect time to make mistakes, and many of them, because we can. We wouldn't have made it this far without failing again and again because that's how you learn. Maybe it's a relationship gone bad, a bad choice that had been made, a test we wish we had done better on. It's okay to forgive yourself for not doing right the first time. It's just about what you do next. We are young intelligent, ambitious, charismatic, energetic, dramatic, fearless visionaries ready for the world. Remember that. So when we do fall, we get right back up and try again. We came, we saw, we conquered. We have the world at our fingertips, so let's make the most of it. I want to finish my speech with a quote of mine. Life's not easy for anyone. Sometimes you don't see the challenges on the outside, but every single one of us has both those and everything that goes on, on the inside as well. Give it your all. Dare to be all you can be. Congratulations to my fellow graduates. It's been an amazing four years with you, and I can't wait to see what you do with the world. Thank you. Taylor Minchin and Tyshawn Price. This year we had the pleasure of serving as the Southfield High School for the Arts and Technology Student Board of Education representatives. We had the opportunity to work with our school board members on issues and topics that affect students directly. We were also able to share our concern as well as input with the board members. At this time, we would like to, <laughs> sorry. At this time, we would like to introduce the Southfield School Board in its entirety. We will call your name. Please stand and remain standing as we acknowledge each one of you. Mr. Charles A. Hicks, President. Mr. Michael M. Poole, Vice President. Mrs. Leslie Lovesmith Thomas, Secretary. <laughs> Ms. Talisha Rice, Treasurer. <laughs> Ms. Yolanda S. Charles, Trustee. <laughs> Mr. Darrell B. Joyce, Trustee. <laughs> Mrs. Betty C. Robinson, Trustee. Thank you for your service to the staff and students at Southfield a and and the class of 2019. You may be seated.
Good afternoon. To the Southfield Board of Education, parents, community partners, administrators, teachers, staff, and volunteers of the Southfield Public Schools, I would like to say thank you for the service that you have given our academic scholars and the many other students that attend our magnificent district. To the dignitaries, clergy, visiting educators of our neighboring school districts, I would like to say thank you for joining us and thank you for supporting our honorees being recognized here today. I am Dr. Jennifer Green, Superintendent of the Southfield Public School District. This commencement ceremony is a time to relish the fruits of past achievements, a time to set new goals, and a time to renew our commitment to ourselves and to those values that make us the intelligent, beautiful, gifted, and diverse people that we are. This ceremony serves also to remind us of how closely our lives are intertwined and how much certain people mean to us. For as we honor you today, no one made it here to this point on their own without support. At this time, and I know there's a lot of us, I would like to ask the parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and guardians of the honorees to please stand and for you to be recognized. Thank you for your appreciation and unwavering support. You may be seated. Okay, parents, it's about the children. You may be seated. Honorees, no matter how high you climb the ladder of life, your parents, grandparents, guardians, and family will always be there watching, assessing, nurturing, and ensuring that you represent them with dignity, strength, and the compassion by which you were raised. So today, as we gather to honor your achievements, I take the liberty to express our past generation's confidence in each and every one of you. The world in which you are passing into is one cast with shadows. I say that not to frighten you, but to challenge you as you move forward in the continued pursuit of excellence. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor, said it best when he was giving advice to his children about striking out on their own. He said, everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact and everything we see is merely a perspective, not necessarily the truth. Marcus Garvey, black nationalist said, intelligence rules the world and ignorance carries the burden. Or perhaps you can best relate to a message from mom. There is greatness in all of us. Dare to discover your greatness because life is the sum of our choices. From time to time, you will make mistakes. They are inevitable. Yet a wise man once said, an error does not become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. So I want you to know there is nothing wrong with falling down. Just as long as you rise two inches taller when you pick yourself up off of the floor. At times, your pursuit of self may lead you far from home, and at times, you may feel as though you don't belong. But remember, home is where the heart is. This is where your passion takes you. Your education, family, and faith is the source of your strength that will sustain you through all of the hardships to come. As you continue your path, you will lose some friends and gain new ones. 
The process will prove to be painful, but often necessary. They will change, and you will change, simply because the only thing constant in life is change. From time to time, they must find their way. And their way may not be your way. So enjoy them for who they are and remember them for what they were. Don't confuse popularity with your purpose. The light that shines in you is greater than the light that shines on you. I challenge you today to see in the adversities of life. I challenge you today to excel and to not make excuses for failure. I challenge you today to see in the battles that lie ahead the fires that will forge strengths and greatness and not flames that destroy hopes and dreams. I challenge you today to see in the life ahead the, wonder, the wondrous unfolding of providence and not the fate of the trapped and disadvantaged. You are children of the universe, no greater than the less fortunate and no less than the heavenly stars. You have earned the right to be here today. And whether or not it is clear to you at this moment, have no doubt that the universe is unfolding as it should. And your rightful place among the mighty legends of your great ancestry has been preordained. Sooner or later, no matter how difficult times will appear, it will all work out if you employ three things integrity, ingenuity, and intelligence. The road is never easy. It was never meant to be. But in the long run, if you stay true to, who, to what you believe in, things will work out. Always be willing to fight for what you believe in. It doesn't matter if one or 1,000 disagree with you. It doesn't ma matter if you stand completely alone. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for your education in the pursuit of excellence. Dare to discover your greatness in you, the greatness in you. It's wonderful to have others believe in you, but it's everything that you believe in yourself. Today I stand here with the village that has raised you and humbled by having the pleasure of sharing this time of honor and recognition of your accomplishments. You have the encouragement and support of past generations to rise to the level of greatness from which we hail. So as I close, I leave you with a quote from Sidney J. Harris, an American journalist with the Chicago Sun-Times, who said, the purpose of education is to turn mirrors into windows. So I say to you, the sons and daughters of the Southfield Public School District, we honor you today and we send you forth with prayers to turn your mirrors into windows of opportunity. Go forth and dare to discover the greatness in you. Southfield High School for the Arts and Technology. I bring greetings on behalf of the faculty and staff. We are gathered here today to celebrate the accomplishments of the phenomenal class of 2019 and to honor each and every one of them for fulfilling the state of Michigan and Southfield Public School graduation requirements with their cohort. This ceremonial procedure is a school tradition saluting the completion of a 12-year academic journey that our students successfully completed as a result of their hard work, their determination, intentional efforts, perseverance, and the belief that victory is within their reach. Not only was victory within the reach of our seniors, you had the courage to claim it, do the work for it, and shortly, you will be walking away with a diploma with your name on it. Therefore, class of 2019, we've reserved this moment in time to salute each and every one of you. We wanted to 
to declare that this is your winning season. What evidence do I have to support my claim that it's your winning season? Unlike any other graduating class, the class of 2019 earned over $20 million in scholarships. I need the class of 2019 to stand up and show everyone what $20 million looks like. Thank you, class of 2019. These scholarships were earned for academic prowess, leadership, and service. Athletic skills, marching band, and the talents displayed by those gifted in the arts, sciences, business, and technology. If $20 million wasn't enough evidence to convince you that it's our Warriors winning season, then let me shed more light on the subject at hand. Our Warriors Robotics Team 94, stand up if you are part of Robotics Team 94. They are the first Robotics 2019 competition winners for the Michigan District. Please give them a round of applause. You may be seated. Our girls varsity basketball team are the 2019 District Champions, Regional Champions, State runner-up champions for Division I in the state of Michigan. Please stand up and give our Lady Warriors a round of applause. All of our choir members that participated in the 2019 State of Michigan Solo and Ensemble Competition earned a Division I rating. If you are a choir member, please stand up. Our Warrior Innovative Vehicle Design Team placed second in 2019 at the state competition held in Kettering University. Our IV Design Team, please stand up. Our concert band made history by rating superior for the first time in the Michigan School Band and Orchestra Association 2019 Festival. The band earned superior rating for concert band and excellence rating for sight reading. Our band also earned superior ratings for the fall for marching band performance, along with first place in the band competition in New Orleans, and the recent acceptance to participate in the 2019 36th Annual Circle City Classic Parade in Indianapolis. If you are in the band, please stand up. Team competed in its first local competition and won first place. Step team members, please stand up. We had a cadre of students traveling to France and Spain in 2019 to learn, grow, and explore in order for them to do more in our community and to adopt a global perspective. I heard some of them found love on the trip as well. If you went on the trip, please stand up. A dynamic trio of our gifted and talented male students performed live at the Fisher Theater before the Broadway musical Hamilton in the spring of 2019. Please. Our very own Destiny Harris graced the front page of the Michigan Chronicle article for earning the 2019 Top Winner Award for the Swag Scholarship. You'll see her holding a $10,000 check added to our $20 million in scholarship earned. Destiny, stand up one more time and let's give her a round of applause. Many of our warriors will walk onto the campuses of Penn State, Rutgers, the University of Michigan, Michigan State, Howard University, Clark Atlanta, Oakland University, 
Kentucky State, Wayne State, Xavier, Eastern Michigan, Western Michigan, Arizona State, Jackson State, Lawrence Tech, and a host of other distinguished colleges and universities to pursue their post-secondary aspirations, in addition to the members who join the armed services or who are immediately entering the workforce. The list of evidence could go on, but it is clear that this is the winning season for the class of 2019. And my seniors, I want you to know that the faculty, staff, and your family and I, we challenged you, stayed on you, worked with you, advocated for you, laughed with you, cried with you, and at times we had to exercise tough love to empower you in order for you to win. Now that you know how to win, boldly live the rest of your life as a champion on the road to greatness. At this time, I ask for everyone within the sound of my voice, except for the seniors, to please stand and seize the opportunity to declare victory over the future of the class of 2019. So I need everyone in the audience to please stand except for the seniors. love and support throughout this journey. We must also acknowledge the staff members, coaches, sponsors, directors, and partners in education that saw greatness in you and refused to settle for anything less than the best. Seniors, please give them all a round of applause for serving as the village of people who work together to get you to this day. Now, seniors, before you turn your tassels and flip your caps. Before you do the dab and Millie rock on the neighborhood block. Before you act up like city girls. Or snap that selfie with all your family and friends. Seniors, I need you to flip your capacity and mentality and to focus with urgency on these final words that I need to leave with you. As you transition from high school to the post-secondary endeavors, you must be become more selective with who you give your time, energy, and attention to. Take a moment and think about what and who is influencing you. What do you spend your time and attention on? Are you placing yourself in situations that propel you to your destiny or the opposite? Do you spend time with people who distract you from living your best life? This will be the perfect time to say goodbye to friends who cause you to compromise your family and personal values. Peers who gossip and spread rumors about others. Negative people who choke the life out of your dreams, vision, and your character. Or the people who ask you to ride or die instead of living and giving to your greater good. The attitude, disposition, and actions of others can be contagious. Therefore, if you surround yourself with people who have limited thinking, no goals, who lack motivation, or who attract trouble and drama, their narrow-minded mentality could rub off on you. Quit hanging around people who bring out the worst in you. Their negativity is contaminating your life and causing a detour to your destiny. If they are not inspiring you and causing you to grow, then they need to make some changes because it's time for them to go. I need you to use every hater as an elevator to graduate to the next level in your life. 
If you don't get rid of the wrong people, you will never meet the right people. You need people who build you up, not pull you down. You can't flourish in the midst of toxic people, so don't let them pollute you. I am nice to everyone, but I don't spend my personal time with everyone. I am selective about who I allow in my life, specifically my inner circle, and I caution you to do the same. You need to value your destiny and the greatness that lies within you by avoiding exposure to people pollutants. Limited people will never understand your limitless dreams. You are full of gifts, talents, and so much potential. Your future is too great to waste any more time with people who are not adding value to your life. Surround yourself with people who encourage, support, and who elevate your excellence. You have what it takes to make the impossible possible, to fulfill your destiny, and to become the change we need to see in this world. So surround yourself with greatness. Select friends who encourage you. Network with the movers and the shakers. Connect with people who are in the industry and field that interest you. Get exposure to the people who are in higher levels so that you can surround yourself with like-minded people. Be inspired by the people who further along in their career. Find mentors and connect with other dreamers. Be selective about what you give your attention to. Glean from others with a larger vision. Find an accountability partner and let that person ignite the fire needed to get you moving and to propel you to your destiny. When you win, your family wins. Our community wins and our nation wins. Class of 2019, don't you ever forget how great you are. You are a winner. You are a conqueror. You are strong and the victory is yours. You will forever be a winning warrior. On behalf of the faculty and staff, we wish you a triumphant journey with your post-secondary endeavors. Make sure that you surround yourself with greatness because you deserve the best and nothing less. We love you and remember that you will always have a place in our hearts and the home of the Warriors. I love you too. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say, it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say, we've lost our mind. I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy. Run away to a world that we design. dreams for the world we're gonna make
with me You may be right, you may be wrong But say that you'll bring me along To the world you see To the world I close my eyes to see I close my eyes to see Every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams I keep On behalf of the class of 2019, the president, Agben Bell, would like to pass the mace on to you as an example of leadership to the class of 2020. I, Benjamin Cody, president of the class of 2020, gladly Good afternoon to the class of 2019, to the family and friends of our graduates. Board President Hicks and Superintendent Green, the faculty of Southfield High School for the Arts and Technology, and the faculty of Southfield Regional Academic Campus certify that the young men and women seated before you have fulfilled all of the requirements of the prescribed course of study and recommends that they are awarded a diploma from the Southfield Public School District. Southfield High School for the Arts and Technology and Southfield Regional Academic Campus Class of 2019, please rise. By the power vested in me by the Board of Education and... By the power vested in me by the State of Michigan, we hereby confer the diplomas, diplomas of graduation with, with all, all the, the rights, rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Jaysha Adams. Justice Efedero. Samira Allen. DeAndre Alexander. Tyler Amos. Corey Alexander. Ariana Arnold. Tochi Amanzi. Prince. A TV. Jaquin Ammons. Soleil Barnes. Caleb Arthur. Janae Bell. Burhawi Asafe. Miracle Bell. 
Christina Bell. Alano Ashford. Kayla Bertrand. Marcus Ayers. Markel Bland. Musa Ba. Zaria Bennett. Brandon Baldwin. Dawsony Barham. Kalita Graining. Jelani Walls. Sheridan Branch. Daryl Atanchi. Diamond Brown. Shavar Barrett. India Brown. Victor Barrett. Jada Brown. Amadi Berry. Lauren Brown. Tehran Beasley. London Brown. Armand Bellamy. Sharice Brunson. Quinton Bell. Olivia Bryant. James Benford. Samaya Buchanan. Colby Black. Gianna Buck. Dior Bolton. Raven Callahan. Elijah Borden. Tracel Bostic. Oliver Boyd. Jamar Bradford. Gerald Branch. What the? Adriana Kamak. Darren Bullock Howard. Dakila Kennedy. Shake Camaro. Bianca Cato. Isaiga Camaro. Jalissa Chambers. Javon Carr. Miracle Chancellor. Saunders Carter. Asia Clark. Nick Cheeks. Kayla Clowney. Esteban Clark. Caitlin Cook. Ebony Crawl. Kane Cleary. Kaya Cross. Brian Flora. Yasmin Crow. Cedric Colbert. Tamia Culberson. Bradford Cook III. 
Kristen Cunningham. Carlton Cooksey. Aaliyah Dancy Johnson. Christian Cummington. Kanisha Davis. Jordan Crawford. Layla Davis. Justice Creighton. Lashina Davis. Janae Dawson. Devin Curry. Cheyenne Dennis. Donovan Curry. Jari Diallo. Colby Dickerson. Justin Daniels. Tamisha Dingus. <laughs> Jordan Davenport. Gabrielle Eberhardt. Iabosaseri Inabulele. Anthony Davis. Ashanti Evans. Amari Dixon. India Pfizer. Miles Dungey. Taylor Fleeton. Devin Dunning. Lakaya Floyd. Isaiah Deshaun Dyson. Jaira Ford. Marcus Edwards. Jocelyn Garcia. Antonaro Epperson. Alexis Gardner. Antero Epperson. <laughs> Anasia Gatewood. Jalen Evans. Diana George. Joshua Evans. Nadia George. Stephen Fields. Janae Gibson. Deontay Fields. Brianna Glenn. Martin Finley. Mariah Graham. Justin Flanori. Lexia Gray. Darren Ford. Treasure Gray. Leon Franklin. Deja Greenfield. Marcus Fuqua. Nala Green Walker. Nicholas Gavin. Walea Tayana Griffin. Demorie Gibbs. Sierra Griffin. Jalen Ginyard. Lauren Gunter. Justin Goodman. Destiny Harrell. 
Dwayne Gray. Destiny Harris. DeMarco Green. Janaira Harris. Justin Grice. Jayla Harris. Bruce Andrea Haley. Sadriana. Harris. Harris. Keyshawn Hadley. Tamrice Harrison. Malik Hairston. Jada Hawkins. Michael Hall II. Darshell Hayes. Shannon Haraday. Jayla Pearl Haygood. DeMarco Harris Lackey. Jordan Haywood. Carl Hurd Jr. Chantel Herring. Jonathan Herring the fourth. Wisdom Hill. DeAndre Holmes. Daya Hobson. Kendall D'Angelo Hughes. Alexa Hodge. Okay. Terrell Hume's Cousins. Jade Holiday. Jared Ingram. Lauren Holland. Edward Jackson. Naomi Houston. Deontay Jackson. Tajane Hughley. Jalen Jackson. India Marie Heidelberg. I mean, Heidelberg. Brent Johnson. Tanaya Ivy. Christian Johnson. Anina Jackson. Jalen Johnson. Jessica Jackson. Terry Johnson. Janine James. Deterius Johnson. Melanie James. Alvin Jones. Brianna Jenkins. Ellington Jones. India Johns. Nick Jones. Alexis Johnson. Armani Jones. Jada Johnson. Michael July. Miracle Johnson. Justin Kennedy. Nia Johnson. Tyler Knight. Paige Johnson. Laji Kanate. Lisa Jome. Jacob Langdon. Shante Jones. Damel Latham. Chantel Jones. Darius Lawrence. Gabrielle Jones. Donovan Lawrence. 
Jada Jones. Donovan Lay. Nima Jones. Lee Carre Lewis. Tasia Jones. Deshaun Linebarger. Kaden Justice Clark. Paris Lloyd. Haley Justice. Cameron Lowry. Sydney Justice Bembury. Kelvin Madison. Micah Kennedy. Antoine Moni. Kennedy Kern. Aman Malik. Day King. Armani Martin. Azaria Knight. Milton Matamoros. Taylor Knight. Dewan Mate. Osha Leggett. Noah Mays. Nyla Lofton. Davion McCurdy. Kyla Logan. Jacob McDonald. Michaela Longmire. Jared McElroy. Angela Luden. Cameron McEvans. Myla Lyons. Antonio McFarland. Sierra Mack. D'Angelo McKenzie. Kayla Madison. Elijah McGovern. Monet Madison. Alan McWhorter. Olivia Maxwell. Deshaun Meeks. Lene McDonald. Devin Meeks. Kivana McGowan. Taylor Mention. Madison Mechanic. Frances Mercedes. Lauren Miller. Devante Mercer. Raquel Miller. Jonathan Miles. Marsha Mitchell. Marissa Mitchell. Quinlan Minor Brookins. Nia Morer. David Mitchell. Haley Moreland. Amari Mitchell the second. China Morris. Jamin Montgomery. Lauren Morris. Jordan Morgan. Kayla Mosley. Jaden Newell Miller. Jamie Nash. Charles Adenibo. Kennedy Newsom. Derek Nakaro. Nancy Anye Boulay. 
Andrew Orr. Kylan Parker. William Orr. Victoria Parrish. Philip Packer. Angel Pickett. Thomas Page Jr. Essence Pickett. Jalen Parker. Alexis Pope. Amari Patman. Arabia Porter. Christopher Pegues. Saudia Porter. Willie Perkins the fourth. Kari Price. Deshaun Phillips. Taylor Price. Alante Pinkins. Brianna Pryor. Jai Ray Pons. <laughs> Olivia Reeves. <laughs> Ty Sean Price. <laughs> Isis Reed. <laughs> Brian Pryor Jr. <laughs> Celine Reynolds. <laughs> Zachary Ramos. Jordan Richardson. James Randall. Jade Real. Isaiah Ray. Maya Robinson. Jeremiah Reed. Dania Rogers. Keon Rice. Taylor Rounds. DeAnthony Robinson. Paige Diva Rucker. Elijah Robinson. Fatumata Sacco. Tyrell Robinson. Samaya Samuel Muhammad. Gian Rosado Rivera. Jessica Sanders. Nathan Russell. Sheldon Sanders. Sayer Samuel Muhammad. Amber Satchel. Kenneth Rhymes. Joya Settler. Dadon Saunders. Jayla Shamley. Tyree Saunders. Tanuja Shankar. Cortez Shaw. Dene Simpson. Shaylin Shamley. China Smith. Latrell Simpson. Jakia Smith. Aiden Smith. Jasmine Smith. Brennan Ray Smith. Olivia Spidell. Jordan A. Smith. Sydney Spite. Joshua Smith. 
Robin Steven. Traquan Smith. Leah Stevenson. Will Smith the fourth. Destiny Stinson. Daquan Smith Fagan. Shailen Stokes. Elijah Smith. Sorry, Elijah Shania Solomon. Shania Stovall. Shamar Spidal. Carlicia Sutton. William Stevens. Desiree Tate. Davon Stewart. Kalea Theus. Jordan Stewart. Jordan Thomas. Francois Swain. John A. Thompson. Reginald Swanson. Sonne Tillerson. Matthew Talbert. Jenna Tobias. Antoine Tate. Ashley Towns. Ernest Taylor. Jamia Vesser. Marcus Taylor. Kyra Smith. Bryce Thomas. Imani Walker. Joshua Thomas. Rain Wallace. Emmanuel Toe. Stephanie White. Andrew Towns. Donna Williams! Harvin Trejo. Tamia Wright Smith! Joshua Tiberius Van Cleve. Victoria Wyatt! Kian Vaughn Costin. James Wadsworth. Miles Wagstaff. Amari Walker. Juwan Walker Jr. Marcus Walker. William Walker. Cantrell Walton. Mark Watts. Charles Webster. Jacob White. Joshua White. Mario White. Dejan Wiggins. Dion Williams. DeParis Williams. Yeah. 
Sam Williams. Kais Wilson. Jacob Young. Jameel Young. David Youssef. The graduating class of 2019. in the graduating class of 2019 with 246 men of color receiving diplomas who said they cannot be successful. In order to be official graduates for the class of 2019, there is one last thing we have to do. In order to culminate your high school graduation, please move your tassels from the right to the left. I now pronounce you graduates of the Southfield Public School District. Congratulations.